What intro to a show was such a banger, that you would never skip it? What we do in the shadows, series, so good. This is the best. The song and imagery are perfect. And the show is one of my absolute favorites. The imagery is so good, I love all the paintings in the 80s pics. Fucking Colin Robus and Pix versus the others in the intro get me every time. Norma Tanega is brilliant, you should definitely check out some of her other work. X-Files. Can't help but whistle along with it every time. I'd make sure to watch every time, for when they change the words at the end. Deceive, inveigle, obfuscate. I was in high school when that one showed up. I had to convince my mom that I wouldn't be too tired for the PSAT the next day. Next day comes and one of the analogy questions has obfuscate in it. I'd never seen the word before watching the X-Files the night before and would have definitely gotten it wrong, or skipped it. I loved this series as a kid but the intro music was giving me PTSD. Always associated that tune with Illuminati, my 10-year-old brain was scared shitless every time I heard it. 90s animated X-Men show. Edit, holy shit. I guess I'm not alone. Also Batman the Animated Series. These two cartoons pretty much made my grade school years. Da na 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 da da. When they reduce men for the MCU I'd love if they use the same melody with a huge orchestra. Some URL. One Punch Man Season 1 opening, gets me hype every time. One Poo on Men CCC. Season 2 also gets me hype the way they say moan S-T-E-R-R-R-R-R-R. I was looking for this. This is one of the top 5 anime ops of all time. DuckTales, Hoo And Darkwing Duck. When there's trouble you call DW. Let's get dangerous. This is one of my brain's favorites. With lyrics changed to go along with whatever I'm doing. Laundry. Two. In 1972 a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help and if you can find them maybe you can hire, the A-Team. I ain't getting in no plain fool. No problem. Oh, totally unrelated, how about a glass of milk? Milk? Ah. Uh. That sounds good, good for your bones, helps build strong muscles. Downs entire glass of milk. Passes out. Samurai Jack. I mean how many intros did William work on, Samurai Jack is classic gold. Got to get back. Back to the past. Samurai Jack. With CHA backslash tilde. The Adams Family. With Lurch at the harpsichord and Kitty, a lion, coming down the staircase as the cast snaps their fingers in time to the music, with memorable lyrics. Batman, the animated series. It masterfully tells you everything you need to know about Batman in exactly one minute, without a single word. Without a title, even, which is the ballsiest part. We don't need a title card to tell you you're watching Batman. You already know this by now. Instead, each episode got its own unique title card. The Simpsons one is good, I like watching the couch gags. With how awesome of the couch gags were, skipping past the Simpsons intro feels like committing a felony. If you click the skip intro when watching on Disney Plus it skips to the couch gag instead of past it. You of course though then miss whatever Bart writes on the board. Gravity Falls. This would be my say too. It was a great theme. Swear I never skipped that intro. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Opus 1. Ed, loses arm and leg. Al, loses whole body. Winry, loses her balance. Which I thought as her life became unstable. I saw it more as her losing something intangible, some part of her soul was wounded when Ed and Al were so horribly maimed. Futurama theme song fucking slaps. Have you ever heard Psyche Rock, the song that it's based on? It's amazing. If you're curious like I was to hear what it sounded like, here you go. Some URL. That's a remix from the 90s, 
not the original. Original here, I believe, some URL. Narcos. Scrolled so far down for this. I watched it over four years ago and the theme song is still stuck in my head sometimes, what a banger. Kept scrolling, here it is. What a song. Scrolled way too far for this one. 2yo is just a perfect intro for this series. I would just gently sway back and forth the whole theme song. <laughs> Neon Genesis Evangelion Opener An eternity has passed and I still can recall that song. More than any show I have ever seen. It's still a bowl of psychological trauma though. The H in Neon Genesis Evangelion stands for happiness. Man for me the show left me feeling so uplifted and questioning. Ten tenths positive experience for me. I'd pay a decent sum of money to be able to watch it again for the first time. The Golden Girls Thank you for being a friend. I'd cry but this song makes me feel safe. The Golden Girls are a treasure and a favorite stay home sick from school watch. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confident. And if you threw a party, Fifth invited everyone you knew. The Sopranos. A few years back my wife and I were in New York for a friend's wedding out in the Catskills and we had to pick up another friend at his rich uncle's house out in the NJ suburbs before heading to the hills. So we did pretty much exactly the drive for the intro, complete with pulling up to this fancy ass estate house. We listened to that song like three times, haha. Ha. I live right down the block. Have to drive literally everyone that visits by the house. It's the first thing they want to do. Is the Soprano house easily found? I live in upstate New York and for my friend's birthday in August, I want to take him to Jersey to do the Sopranos tour, the Badabi, Satra Yaley's, Tony and Carmela's house, etc. Malcolm in the middle. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now and you're not so big. Life is unfair. Westworld has a great intro. The music is great, the visuals are so cool looking, and the fact that they changed each season made it even cooler. Oh dang, I'd forgotten Westworld. Ramin Jawadi is a goddamn treasure. His cover, of Heart Shaped Box is one of my favorites. Westworld and the first season of True Detective had great intros. They really felt like someone had put a ton of time in to make them unique and capture the vibe of the show. Tank by Yoko Kano. The intro for Cowboy Bebop. Added to add, the real folk blues is a banger as well. 3, 2, 1, let's jam. I love that the only lyrics are 5 seconds in. I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everyone and their stuff together. Alright, 3, 2, 1, let's jam. And then if you're as obnoxious as me and my friends, immediately followed by everyone sing slash shouting B A da, B A da, B A da, B A da da. Gravity Falls. I love it so much I hate it when they use the shorter version. While I agree, the shorter intro did mean a longer episode. The reruns on Hulu have the short one sometimes own the filler episodes. Which sucks, because the fillers have a bunch of clues for Alex's books in them. Same. I get ready to start jamming and then it just ends. Bob's Burgers Short and simple but new signs for the service truck and business next door. I always watch for the truck in the store. My favorite truck so far is Adios Mice Trachos. I enjoyed the store sign propane and propane accessories, dominatrix supplies. I shout ARF at the wife when Jean plays that key on his keyboard. Parks and Recreation always made me smile. That show is so wholesome it makes me want to cry. When my life was a wreck and I watched that show it reminded me there's still good in the world. Overdramatic yes, but true. Edit, when I was in a really low place in life, on FXX at DLI 8 or 9 AM they'd play Raising Hope and then Parks and Rec back to back and it gave me this strange sense of comfort to watch those even though I was morbidly depressed and miserable. I've watched the entire series on Netflix and never once skipped the intro. I especially love the captioning for the intro on Netflix. 
backslash triumphant music backslash Twin Peaks. The Expanse, hands down. I never skip it. Pensive instrumental music woman singing in Norwegian. I buy Shyama Kanabi. The music and visuals are so good, almost hypnotic. I'm sad that not more of my friends know about this show. Only one more season, and a lot more books frown. Only one more book, coming this year, I believe. I love the intro to Stranger Things. My sister describes it as minimalistically hypnotic. Ironically, this was where they invented the skip intro button. Honest trailers even called out the questionable timing. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give that intro an 11. I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, 